It was the view, very firm view of archaeologists, that there had been no megalithic architecture. And when I say megalithic, I mean literally big stones, stone circles, huge constructions, nothing like that before 6,000 years ago. Central to my work was the notion of a global cataclysm, roughly 12,500, 12,800 years ago. They are not saying that it also wiped out a, a lost advanced civilization of prehistory. I'm saying that. In the heart of Lebanon's Bekaa Valley lies an ancient wonder that defies the sands of time, the Baalbek Temple Complex. This is Baalbek uh, in the Lebanon. Each of these three blocks weighs 900 tons. Home to some of the largest and most mysterious stone blocks ever used in construction, these colossal remnants of the Roman Empire's grandeur weigh as much as 1,650 tons each, more than an entire fleet of blue whales. How these stones were transported and precisely set into place remains one of history's most captivating puzzles. I don't know how they did it. All I know is they did it. I don't think anybody knows how they did it, how they lifted those stones, how they brought them up to that level. Join us as we delve into the enigmatic world of Baalbek, where ancient engineering meets modern curiosity, challenging everything we thought we knew about human ingenuity. A Roman site for sure, but what about this bizarre enclosure wall that surrounds it? Nestled in the fertile Bekaa Valley of Lebanon, the ancient site of Baalbek is a testament to architectural and cultural grandeur spanning thousands of years. Known as Heliopolis during the Hellenistic period, Baalbek's journey began as a modest Phoenician town named Baalath, dedicated to the worship of Baal, a god associated with the sun and storms, pivotal to the agricultural rituals of its people. The transformation of Baalbek accelerated following its conquest by Alexander the Great in 334 BC. Under Alexander, the city absorbed Greek cultural and architectural elements, emblematic of his broader strategy to fuse Greek and local traditions across the regions he conquered. This Hellenistic influence set the stage for Baalbek's later architectural evolution under the Romans, who saw the city's strategic and religious potential. What archaeologists say, they found they could move 900 ton blocks, but 1,000 tons was too much for them. Roman architects and engineers embarked on an ambitious construction agenda in the first century BC, which saw Baalbek grow into a grand ceremonial center. The centerpiece was the Temple of Jupiter, one of the largest temples in the Roman Empire featuring 54 massive granite columns, each standing 70 feet tall. Today, only six of these majestic columns remain, but they continue to dominate the landscape, offering a window into what was an architectural marvel of the ancient world. Nearby, the Temple of Bacchus stands as a testament to Roman decorative art and architectural detail, with its well-preserved carvings depicting mythological scenes and festivities. 